Hello, Mini. So this game, it just looked like suffering for you. Very fun to watch. Um, <laughs> so your deck is interesting. Like I've never seen someone build it like this. Usually people do Primal Might a bit higher with health or they don't run Primal Might and they just have Bandolier with health or something. Um, but you have like a little bit of everything and less health. So it's like this deck makes you s like spam nades a lot because you just have a lot of nades to spam because you have the roll cooldown plus the CDR on, on them, which is fine. Like it just, it makes you tanky in a different way. You could have just like dumped four, four or five points into health and you'd be also tanky. Like raw, t raw health kind of tanky. Um, that's fine though. I dig it. Oh, before I start. So, on Jack Falls, um, against their comp. So, it was interesting to me because basically their comp is super shield heavy between the Barrack and the Nando. And then it's also really um, long range spam happy between the Grover and the Tiberius. And honestly, Willow can outspam you too. So you don't really win the poke war, and other than that, you're just on shield break duty, which is why it looked like a lot of suffering. Um, so every, I think almost every mid, except for the last one, you started here and then you shot down main, kind of got, like you did some poke to them. Um, I'm going to be honest, it was kind of meaningless poke. Um, while you kind of sort of took a lot of spam to the face. Somewhat also meaningless, but like just it was, the whole thing was kind of meaningless. So it's not great. It, like it doesn't do anything for you to play down main like this and get out spammed. Also, um, if you play whatever this is called, Jag side, open, whatever, you also get out spammed by Tigger. So honestly either so this game you like honestly want to be in I keep saying honestly for no reason there's something to be dishonest about I um, mean you want to be in either dark or sun I think you you gotta split the the range difference um but we'll get there when we get there so here just meaningless spam and then committing to the left side but what happened is so what happened this fight was you guys kind of slowly rotated all the way, like all of you are clumped here. They have control of main, they have control of dark, they have control of of Jag as well. You guys have like zero map control, you're all clumped in a little corner. Uh, just, yeah, I didn't like that positioning at all. You're not going to win that. Like you just stood there shooting a nano shield while face tanking a Tiberius. There's no point in doing that. You do that a lot where you kind of just take a lot of poke damage throughout the game. So, yeah, just try to minimize that. Like, you don't have to take as much poke damage. And at this point, as soon as Willow does that, like, again, you guys just have no map control. I mean, that was a good kill. I think Kipsy was overextended anyways, but you guys are kind of fucked anyways. Like if if Willow by the time Willow makes it up to uh, your your bridge, you guys are probably fucked. <laughs> so that first point was just lost because of your roll team positioning. That's good. Fire on Barrack, good. Getting outpoked. I, like, I was really surprised you didn't buy resilience this game. I don't think you got rooted like a whole ton, but when you did, you did take a lot of damage. That was actually, I thought, a pretty good nano ult. But you also killed Grover, so that was also good. Alright, so. I do like, well, it's 
going to say. I, I do like that you were playing up here. I think, I think when they start pushing in, of all the places you could stand, Tyra does the best playing this. Um, you don't see my mouse because I didn't turn it on. Hold on. Where is cursor? Ta-da. Okay. I do like... I do think Tyra plays best here because you want to, again, you don't win the range poke at all. Like, you have some nades that you can spam and snipe at range, but it's tough to, like, reliably land those based on distance <clears throat> and to confirm kills with them. So you need to, like, think about ways to minimize the distance between you and the person you're trying to deal damage to. So you don't really play this side or back here. Like, this is definitely your best friend. I don't think you should play down main. I think he's just held inside here. I mean, maybe you were trying to, like, unstack from Roni. Like, I don't really know why he's here. Roni could have just been pushing out Tyler, in my opinion. But I guess you kind of can, too. But you see how, like, you're just l constantly in Kipsy's face. Like, she could have just shot you. And she does. And you have to back out. But that was a good hook, so it worked out. I would drop fire on the barrack there, like just throw it here, just force him to not be as comfortable here, which you do eventually. You take some more shots from Kibsey. I still want you to like, I, don't know, I guess it's not a big deal, I guess you can always like back out into here. I just feel like where you're standing is where you would want a Cassie to stand. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can explain it any better than that. I, I think you play better like inside here. Maybe I'm being too particular for no reason. Yeah, like I like that better. I like if you just hold like literally right here and like play between here and here. Like, you can hold. Tyra can hold corners so well between her fire. Like if you had fire bomb up, you could just fire bomb around the corner. And it's like they can still push past it, but it's gonna be a bit more painful for them. Um, and they can just nade spam the fuck out of them, and then, you know, your left clicks do left click things. Good nade. Good mark. Good fire. All good so far. Um, okay, Roni got that. <clears throat> okay, fine, good. Uh, not a really big deal. I still would have preferred you walk up the stairs here and then shoot him from this way. Because he, he can't, I don't know, like he could shield you, I guess, but then he has to back out anyways, you know? And then if he backs out, you have a better angle to shoot him from this doorway. Whereas right now you're just shooting a shield. And then that fire was kind of wasted. Okay, good. You saw Kipsy press Q and you're like, nope, not about that. Mm. If you hadn't dropped, like, Pilar actually has a harder time getting this angle. This angle is, like, super easy for him. I just think he took up, like, meaningless damage. Nice hook, Nathan. <laughs> I'm gonna assume you do it with Nathan. Like, I could look it up, but I'm just too lazy. Again, you start here. I'm not sure why. Just kind of weird. I, you don't do anything there. The whole team is playing left side, so I guess it's okay that you're here, but I don't think you guys win this. I think the exact same thing happens this last point eventually, which is you guys don't, you guys don't win Sun. Um, <laughs> their team has control of main and dark, and you guys get... Like, uh, I don't remember the word I'm trying to say, but you guys just get like squeezed into a corner or a very small space. And then, yeah, this point's already over. It's just like the initial team fight, the setup is very awkward. You don't have, like you're kind of playing, you guys were, you, you guys kept playing into their range poke. 
and their shields just wasn't very conducive to getting anything done. You could have actually just stayed here. Maybe you were trying to like play with Nathan, which is fine too. But you could have just stayed here. Like, I don't think a Nando can really kill you. Like he was by himself too. Like, I think because you didn't, like, no one was holding this. That's how she got all the way behind you guys. It was just kind of free and open. But again, Tyra, like, can hold corners really well, including doorways. So you could have just, like, put fire here, kind of burst them back. You can actually kind of solo hold that for a while, at least. In my opinion. Um, I would have naded that. I think you had a nade up before you died. Like if like that Nando kind of just sprung up on you or from behind you, you look kind of surprised. In which case, I'd just be like spamming nades off cooldown. And maybe, maybe you were. Maybe like you couldn't get it off because there's a slight cooldown. Um, eh, that's okay. But <laughs> I'm like, you ate a lot of spam to the face. Like, if you see that much spam, when you peek out, just hit your nade and, like, back the fuck off. That fire was, like, not super effective. Because you saw where the rest of their team was. I think the cart was close enough where you'd want to drop the fire on point to help with the point pressure, in my opinion. Um, I also really don't like that you're standing, like, literally on point. I don't know if you thought you were like the next tankiest thing in case you're in died and you didn't want them to push it in. Like maybe that was the thought, but if that wasn't, like I really don't know why you're standing out in the open because it's out in the open. You could have either just held um, over here on, on that, whatever the hell you call that thing. It's not even, is it a platform? Let's call it platform. Or you could have been inside on this side, but you kind of just like shot it down mid. I think it would have been more natural for you to have been over here. You could have done pretty much the same damage um, and taken the same angles. Good mark. Good need. I like that fire too. Nando actually ulted well because if he had died, they like basically him ulting made space, which was cool for the other team and kind of surprised you. Alright, here. That fire was such a throwaway because you usually, you want to put fire down. It's like Dawn Book Ward. You want to put it down where you think they're going to be in the next two seconds. Uh, with fire, you kind of want to think about where they're going to be in the next like three or four seconds, like a little bit more into the future. And then you toss it not only behind him, but like away from the direction of his travel. So you kind of like put it where he was two seconds ago instead of where he's going to be in two seconds. Uh, not a big deal, but it's just I wanted to point it out. Because you were like, I guess you guys were thinking just to point burn touch. But that roll roll was kind of cool too, and then you got caught out of position. Like the other team are really good Nando and Grover ults to make space. Because I think you kept trying to burn people, like burn touches or whatever, and thinking it was like an isolated one on 1v1 one, one one fight when it like turned out it wasn't. Okay, I really like that you guys, like I really, really, really like that you guys switched it up and went to the right side because I think you guys, that was like the only thing you could have tried because um, you definitely don't win this, you don't win main, you, you guys kept trying to win left, but it just wasn't happening and that gave them like all map control. So wrapping this way is good, especially this at this point, this is with a third point fight. 
and then you know exactly where they're going to be because they're just going to do the same thing until it stops working. So you know that they're going to be on this side and you know there's going to be three people here. You're going to know that there's no reason for them to change it up unless they have to, like it stops working. So it's catching them off guard. I don't like that fire at all. Um, I, I think he knew the barrack was already off point. Like that was just like a, again, you put the fire where he was like five seconds ago. It just did nothing. But you see how like, the, like this is working right now because you guys pulled, uh, because of your team positioning, it pulled Kipsy and uh, Booz out from the left side because they were like waiting for people here and then they're like, oh shit, they're not here. So they had to like scramble to reposition and then it forced the three of them that were sitting right here to like shove back. So now you guys have more map control than the other team, which is great. I also don't like this alt. Preemptively alting on Tyra is honestly a waste. Um, you could have just wound it, like, if you could have altered the same things, but just wound it up a little bit later. It just felt like you were just ulting because maybe Nathan and your team was, like, all ulting, and you're like, okay, let me join in. I don't know. Just felt a little bit like that. But Tyra ult's actually somewhat short, so if you preemptively wind it up and you don't really have anything to shoot concretely, um... It just feels kind of like a waste. So here, I like to, I don't know if this is like right or whatever, but I like to play this little staircase as Tyra, like in this kind of situation where you guys have point control, you're kind of zoning, um, and all you have to do is really burn point. Again, she holds corners so fucking well. Everyone's going to try to push through main here. Uh, yeah, so like you could have, you could have burned Nando really well. Like, you have a good angle from here onto point, and you can also push back whoever's trying to push through here. Like, you falling back here is not terrible either. I just... I just like... Like, it, like even if you were here, I would have preferred you to just dip into here. Like, you just took some extra damage from Willow for no reason. You know what I mean? You can be closer, like you can actually, if you had played here, whatever, even if you weren't there, it doesn't matter, at, even at this point, you can actually just be closer. I know there's seed things here, so whatever, but like in general, <laughs> you tend to, I feel like you just tend to play somehow like both out in the open, but also not close enough. Like you can be closer without being out in the open and taking range poke by playing around corners a little bit better and hugging those. Does that make sense? Just an observation. That fire's good. But then you get, <laughs> the, the, yeah, whatever. You guys just get pushed like hardcore. It's fine. Like, you're really good about marking will alts. Like, your marks are fine. Where is Andrew? Oh, not even close. See, I like, like, his alts are actually, like, really good. <laughs> Because you think you're going to win that, and then he's like, nope. Um, this fire is fine. It turned out okay, because Barrack literally just, like, walks into it and stands there. I, I don't know why I want to mention this, but somehow I just really like to throw the nade, like, through here. And it'll just land on them. I don't know. Just a thought. They could, and yeah, they couldn't have pushed it anymore, actually. I think you were, like, spamming your nades sufficiently. But that, for that, do you see how that, for that brief moment, when you were looking down main, and you just wanted to, like, spam one nade, you took so much poke just for that one nade. It's kind of crazy. You just don't win those. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do like that you realized early on that you're just playing into shields like the entire game. So you bought 
like you prioritize Wrecker, which is good. Like Sam would have just like straight up bought Wrecker three, like rushed it. I don't like fighting without any cauterize like whatsoever. So I, I like the the order in which you bought your items. I would put fire there. Ugh. I guess you thought you were okay when you weren't. Because you had two nades up, you could have spammed them for DR. But I would just drop fire before that. Nice kill. This is good. I don't know what Kerfuffle is doing. Did he not see you? Did he not feel the damage? I have no idea. It happens. You don't win that against Kibsey. <laughs> the only time you win against a Tiberius is if you don't let... Like, you definitely don't win, like, the mid to long range spam battle against him is if like he's somewhat close to you and he does not have his Q up and you have like, let's say one to two nades up, you could probably win that easily. But trying to fight him at range is kind of silly. I don't think you really try to, but there were a couple times you kind of challenge him and I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't think that fire went anywhere, right? It was like in this little room. So at this point, they're all pretty low and that fire did nothing. Like at this point, the cart's really close too. I would have wanted you to just put it, like put some, like create some point pressure. You already used a ton of cooldowns to push them out here. You can't finish them off. And where you dropped fire was not where they were going to be anyways. Like, it would have been a much better use of fire if you just put it on point. And if you wanted to, you could ult it, but I guess you might have wanted to save ults for the next point fight, which is also fine. But yeah, at this point, I just want to burn point. And Nara dies, so it's like, whatever. GG next point. Good, you don't even dismount and take meaningless battles mid. I'm not sure what she ulted. That fire's not bad, actually, because their whole entire team was back there, so it kind of would have slowed them down. And this was really good. This play was really good that you guys recognized that the Nando was by himself for no reason. And eventually finish him off. I know you're like really trying to help Nathan right here, and this is just very unfortunate that you do not have cauterized into a Grover ult. Like by cauterize, I mean you don't have caught three. You just can't kill a Grover ulting without caught three. It just feels like crap. But it's okay, you guys made space and you capped. All good. So again, I really dig that team positioning and that the fact that you guys punished the Nando who's caught out by himself. I don't know why the fuck he was there. 50 HP! Holy shit. Why didn't he just push that? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not sure what that fire did, but it's okay. So you're looking for this Willow ult. Very confused by it. You guys are just kind of backing up pretty hard. I guess. It's fine, because your whole team died, so just die. Okay. Drop fire there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, alternatively, so you, this is good. You, you killed Kipsy. She was by herself, so I can't really say it's bad. Um, but you could have also just dropped fire where they were in that choke first. Eh. This is good. Good, good, good. I guess it kind 
did that did your alt force out Grover alt? If so, that's nice. Good fire. You do the thing okay, before we get to that. You do the thing I do where I'm <laughs> like staring at a fucking nano shield and thinking, why the hell does this thing just never die? And then I like I I just really want to dump as much damage into it as possible and I put a nade into it just for damage. I feel kind of stupid, but it's okay because <laughs> it is extra damage and it like for the most part, you're pretty parsimonious with your use of nades. Uh, and I think I've only seen you dump like one nade into a nano shield at one time, so it's all good. I do the same thing. Oh my God, my video. Let's go back to here. I think every time I pause, it kind of kills it. Wait, where the hell? I don't even know. Oh, here. You see Kibzy? So I guess you were caught in a weird place where you're trying to rotate from here to here. I think that's what you were trying to do. But then she just like presses Q on you and you were fucked. Um, yeah, that was just one of those moments where you just shouldn't have been here, I guess. You didn't have a good retreat plan. I guess ideally you would have either already been here or been a bit further back so you can back out through that doorway. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It happens. Eating a tip cue to the face is very fun. Good fire. I dig it. That's good. You marked her and then made her back up. That's oh, fine. You're an R dead. All right, last point. This is this point fight was really awkward. Um, I guess you guys wanted to change it up again, even though right side was working. But sure. So sometimes when I play tire on this map, I try to play in dark, and then like in order to get into this room, I take so much damage, like you just did, just to like walk into this room, especially against a comp like that the the whatever long range poke comp uh yeah that just felt kind of suffering watching it um if you really wanted to you could have like tried to wrap around on the left side into here i don't know yeah i think it was just like you full committed to nathan being here <laughs> but then it just hurt so much to get here well, whatever. So you're like chunked already, and then this nano just walks at you. But it's okay because he's feeding his ass off anyways. <laughs> if 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 nano had had the tip with him, but I think Kibzy just like really likes to play super back, so she wouldn't have been there. But if she hadn't played super back, and she was with the nando, you would have just gotten fucked. Because you took half, like more than half your health and damage already just to get into dark. I mean, you could have just stayed on your mount. Like, I really think you should have just stayed on your mount a little bit longer. You could have peeked mid or whatever, or like not even peeked, but just sat behind that wall. You know, the wall between mid and left side and just like figured out where they were. And then maybe figured out that they were all sitting back here. So you could have just wrapped around and gone that way into dark. I don't know what happened here, but you just like melted. Like, I don't know if you could have avoided that. <laughs> but that is, that is the staircase I like playing out of. Like you didn't have to like commit as hard. You don't have to like try to like press W through here. You could have just like sat back a little bit more and not been as susceptible to taking damage. But I don't know. I don't know what your team did, but they won the team fight. So that team fight, I, your one contribution, honestly, was that A, you didn't die. Well, I guess two contributions. A, you didn't die, and B, you helped burn the Nando who was by himself while four of his teammates were sitting back here. And I don't know what they were doing. Uh, but then, I don't think you had to die that team fight at, at all. 
But your team, your team did things, so it's okay. And you helped with like the one crucial kill. And at this point, you guys cap so much that it's a stagger from the other team. They just have to touch. So all you have to do is burn touch. Like literally, that's all you have to do. Uh, that wall is so preemptive. What does this wall do? Like nano kick it off point anyways. I don't know. Good fire, obviously. Good shooting him. You don't have to. Okay, so this whole entire sequence from here is really weird watching because you're just like on point. You're just like dancing around point burning touch, but like you don't have to be on point doing this. Like you don't have to be here. You can, you can literally be like just standing here. That's it. Like you don't have to be like, like peaking any damage whatsoever. So I'm not, this doesn't really matter, but you didn't, it didn't, you don't have to like commit this hard with Nathan to kill Tiberius. They were already super staggered. There's no point. Like you're just, do you see how you're just like walking at everyone? You don't have to. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's just, it just looks weird to me. Like you could have just played one position, <laughs> you know? Yeah, wait, okay, we'll just replay it. Um, yeah, I think for the most part, again, it just felt suffering. <laughs> You're shooting shields all game. Uh, you get poked out at range. So the only thing you can really do is to not get poked out at range and somehow take down the shields at the same time. Uh, like, you didn't have, like, amazing stats at the end. Which is fine, honestly. Like, I don't think that's a comp you should be, like, rolling over anyways, and it's hard for you to confirm kills. And every time you were, like, I think Nandal alt and Grover alt actually took away a few potential kills, because they were used well. You gotta give them that much. Um, I thought your your marks are fine. Some of your fires I pointed out, I didn't, like, I wasn't, like, a huge fan, but it's hard to have perfect fires every single time. And then I thought you used, like, you didn't hold on to your nades too much for the most part. Like, sometimes, like, you, you can, with your build, spam them a little bit more just because you have them up so much. Uh, but I thought you used, you, you didn't hold on to them, like, overly long, so that was fine. You could, like, I in general, I felt like your positioning was a little wonky. Like, you took kind of mid-range battles. I already said this, but, like, you took mid-range battles kind of where, like, a Cassie would play ish um but you end up taking a lot of poke so just try to find like a corner you can hug or a doorway or something and then you can hold that really well uh yeah not super insightful i don't think but maybe just like things you can consider for next time